Well, a good Friday morning. We are starting the day off under some wind advisories in effect for Western Greenbrier, Summers, Mercer, and Tazewell. Those will expire at 6 o'clock this evening. And then Southeast Nicholas and Southeast Fayette, those will begin at 8 o'clock this morning and last until 10 o'clock this evening. So we could see gusts anywhere between 40 to 50 miles per hour. Definitely be on the cautious side of that. Now Doppler radar, we are starting to see that rain move on in. We have seen it move on in throughout the morning. And we also have started to see it mix in with a little bit of snow. We will, could see some heavier downpours at times throughout the day. Now temperatures, we are starting off on the mild side. Compared to the beginning of the week, we are starting off in the upper 30s and some low to mid 40s. 46 degrees out in Pineville, 45 in War, but a little bit cooler out towards Hinton. 36 degrees, 39 in Raynell, Fayetteville and Oak Hill, and 41 up in Richwood. Now as we go throughout the rest of the day, notice our temperatures warming on up to the mid to upper 40s, but that rain will continue. Once again, it could lead to some heavier downpours, leading to some ponding on the roadway. So allow yourself a little bit of extra time if you are traveling out on the roads today. Let me go into the overnight hours. Temperatures drop down into the 30s once again. We will see some scattered snow showers as we go through the day. Some of it could make in with just a little bit of rain, but notice our high temperatures only getting up to the mid to upper 30s for tomorrow. We'll see a little bit more snow as we go through your day on Sunday as well. Temperatures a little bit cooler once again into the low to mid 30s. Now, how much rain could we see? Well, as we go through into tomorrow morning, we could see half an inch for those lower elevations. Higher elevations could see about one to two inches of rain. So definitely want to allow yourself some extra time and definitely keep that umbrella handy. And as we go through your Sunday morning, could see those amounts just a little bit higher, especially out towards those higher elevations. Now, as far as snowfall goes, we are not looking at a lot of accumulation. We could see maybe a dusting to a trace for as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Then we go to t into Sunday morning. Once again, not looking at a whole lot. And then as we go through your Monday morning, we could see it climb on up to there just a little bit closer to an inch for most areas. But otherwise, we are not looking at anything significant. Our wind gusts, though, we could see those gusts up anywhere between 40 to 50 miles per hour throughout the day today. But notice as we subside, we subside as we go into the overnight hours tonight and as we go through the day tomorrow. So otherwise, we just have to get through today's rain showers and those windy conditions before we start to calm on down as far as those wind goes. But otherwise, we are going to see those windy, rainy and cooler conditions. That rain will stick around with us all day today. Definitely keep your umbrella handy. Temperatures climbing on up into the mid to upper 40s. So the next seven days looks like a lot. We will see those showers stick around for today. Temperatures remaining on the milder side. We will start to see those snow showers move on in as we go into the weekend. Temperatures cooling on down just a little bit into the mid to upper 30s. We will start to dry on out just a little bit as we go into your Monday, some morning snow showers. And then we'll see mostly cloudy skies as we end, as we go into the rest of your week next week. Temperatures beginning to warm up just a little bit into the low to mid 40s.